right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, welcome inside our studios for the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Troubles in Oakland continue, Paul. It seems like every Friday that's what we're talking about here, the pit basketball situation. It doesn't get any better. Um, it went from firing Stallings, should he be fired, to now it's he's fired. And w which coach is going to be coming here? Uh, the latest rumor is Mark Schmidt. We heard that they reached out to him. Um, also, Nate Oates. Uh, it seemed like, Paul, not too many Pitt fans were happy with uh, the fact that Mark Schmidt was being mentioned as a possible candidate. Here's my issue with the whole Mark Schmidt thing, and I don't know what your take is on it, but the guy's been an average coach wherever he has gone. He was average, middle of the pack in the NEC, middle of the pack in St. Bonaventure. And you could tell me it's, it's tough to win St. Bonaventure. He did turn that program around. But what does he do? He's not putting, he's not putting any fans into the seats for Pitt. It's not a splash higher. He's a good coach, but he's like a Stallings 2.0. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to pay $10 million for Stallings to go away, you better do better than Mark Schmidt. And I think the other thing about Mark Schmidt is um, he's not really known as a great recruiter. And you better be able to recruit. I mean, he, yeah. he gets guys that, you know, fit sort of what he's looking for. They're hard-nosed kids. They play hard, all that other stuff. He's had a few good, you know, really good players up there. But for the most part, uh, 17 seasons as a coach, he's made the postseason three times. So that, to me, tells you, you, you know, if you're going to hire Mark Schmidt, it's not a faster path to getting back to somewhat respectability than just keeping Kevin Stallings in place. So, you know, there, there's been other. I mean, Tim Clues from Iona, apparently the, the search firm basically was that's one of the ones that I guess they recommended to Pitt. And there, yeah. there was maybe some interest at once, but now that, you know, there's no interest in, in, in that either, uh, which is probably good because he's a 59-year-old guy who's, you know. In a, in, so, um I don't know where to go, you know, where you go next. I mean, the thing about it is it doesn't really matter how this process plays out if you end up with the right guy. The question is, are you going to end up with the right guy? I think it's Nate Oates. It sounds to me like that thing died or, you know, died somewhere in between, uh, you know, with them, the them talking, yeah, with them talking to him or something like that. Like, I think... From what I understand, talking to a couple of people about that situation with Nate Oates, he feels like if he stays at Buffalo one more year, he's got two great players, two four-star kids he got to come to Buffalo. Yeah. He's going to have a better team next year than he did this year. So he does what he did this year, gets the NCAA tournament, wins a game or two or whatever. He'll be the Danny Hurley on the market next year. But let and me ask you something. Doesn't $20 million over six, seven years change your mind? Well, again, He'll be the Danny Hurley on the market next year, which means he probably can get a much better job. There, He can get that. And they're not going to give him $20 million over six years. No, I, I understand. I'm, we're just talking about that kind of money with Hurley. That's a lot of money. It um, is. But, 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 again, Connecticut gave him like 18.8. .8. So he's at Connecticut, which is a team yeah. that's closer to the top of their conference. It's not a complete dumpster fire with 10 guys asking for their release. Coming off an 0 and 19 season, it's not the laughing stock of the uh, you know of the of the country because of this uh, buyout situation yeah. and everything else. It's a much easier job right now at Connecticut. So okay, I'll give up a million bucks over six years or whatever. What is it? You know, we're talking about 1.2 million dollars. Yeah, if you're talking million, about that much money, we're talking about a million point two over six years. Mm -hmm. he, well, Danny Hurley can make that up easily if he wins and does well there at Connecticut. I'm sure there's going to be opportunities for other stuff, other money and stuff at Connecticut. I mean, it's a basketball school. So I look at a guy like this guy from Nate Oates. You got a great team coming back. You got two four-star kids coming in. I mean, you're, you're a Mac school that's pretty yeah. good already. You got two four-stars coming in. You win that, you go to the next year. Now, all of a sudden, a couple of other jobs open up that are even bigger and better than Pitt. And you probably have more bargaining power because now you've done it, you know, three out of four yeah. years. People know you're not a flash in the pan. Now you call your shot. The other thing about it you need to consider, and this is what someone actually, actually told me today, he's from Wisconsin. You that know, that could be an opening. And that year. could open up next year. If they, don't, if they have another losing season, that yeah. job opens up. That's a job he has his eye on. And so to me – Pitt's not going to pay Nate Oates $3 bucks. Yeah. They're not going to pay him $2 million. They might pay him 
one point four, something like that. Doubles his salary. Doubles his salary, but here's the thing: Buffalo just gave him an extension for a little bit more money or whatever. And I mean, again, if you're him, you're thinking about I can become a free agent next year and do much better than Pitt. And that's the problem Pitt has right now. All right, well, we have a problem. We got to go to break. Give us a call: four one two five seven five two six. Zero zero is the number, or you can reach us on Twitter. I'm at Rachel Wall. She's at Paul Zeiss. Back in a couple minutes.